Hi everyone. Prepare to pray fervently. Prepare to be blessed by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman as we'll be declaring powerfully over our lives as we step into the month of June. This video will bless you powerfully. Feel free to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. I want you to receive this from the depth of your heart like fire from heaven right now upon us many who are hungry to receive this grace that is higher than silver and gold i stretch my hands as god has granted the grace to bring this truth to you i speak to someone the grace that causes men to rise up and walk receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now higher spiritual dimensions receive it right now higher prophetic dimensions receive it right now the spirit of revelation at a higher dimension receive it right now the grace for prayer and supplication receive it right now I activate your prophetic encounters at a frequency you have never seen. I speak to you spiritually, rise up and walk. Financially, rise up and walk. In your career, rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Rise up and run. Rise up and fly. Rise up and soar. Rise up and break limits. Rise up and break boundaries. In the name of Jesus. Rise up and do what has never been done. Rise up and surpass ordinary standards. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Spirit that comes into men and causes them to rise and to fly in destiny. Aya, may that grace rest upon you. May that unction rest upon you. May that grace in that anointing, let it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119, verse 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. And everything keeping you down, in spite of the fact that Peter and John, God's vessels, are already within your vicinity, and yet there are things keeping you down. I don't care what they are. I crush them for your sake forever. I crush them for your sake forever in the name of Jesus and I declare over someone we don't know how old that man was we were not given the privilege to know how long his condition was but one thing we know is that from a baby to an adult is at least 18 years when that man was met we do not see him carrying any semblance of a baby the Bible will identify young men as young men like the rich young ruler but this man certainly was not a young man so it is safe to assume that from birth until the time was at least 18 years I don't know how long your challenges have lasted there is a word I want to introduce to your life is the word immediately the Bible says immediately you would think the longevity of the trouble the calamity would make his healing be gradual but the Bible says immediately another word for immediately is speedy manifestation that is my prophetic word over you let there be speedy manifestations 
Let there be speedy manifestations. Speedy manifestations of prophecy. Speedy manifestations of grace. Of favor. Of lifting. Of new levels. Of a new chapter. In the name of Jesus. Please hear me. For some of you. As you return. As you come for the miracle service. You are not just going to come to testify. You are going to come to draw those who will come and testify. Because I am not only standing as Peter and John. I am releasing upon you. Now that you have arisen in the name of Jesus. Be Peter and John to someone else. I say it again, be Peter and John to a family. Be Peter and John to a business. Be Peter and John to a ministry. Agents of change, careers of the anointing, conduits of spiritual possibilities. In the name of Jesus. That as you come for the miracle service next week, for some of you, whole families will follow you. Listen. The Bible says, the man who was healed clung to Peter. He went wherever Peter went. In the name of Jesus, by reason of this grace, I forbid you from coming to the house of God alone. Your impact in the life of families will be too significant for them to watch you go to church alone. In the name of Jesus Christ. I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. I, 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 glory be to God. I, I, glory be to God. I, 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 Hear me in the name of Jesus. Father, what chariot should I be joining in this season? What partnerships do I need in this season to break out of and to become part of? Who is an ally indeed in this season? It will not come by physical appearance. You will need the ability to see what should I be studying and meditating upon right now? What business will produce the next wealthy people in the next five years? Don't assume the seen eye is a solution. Take a minute and pray. You are praying. Don't be distracted. Arando salika rikusia faratusia. 
and those who are following online you are about to receive something miraculous and marvelous miraculous and marvelous the gift of sight the seeing eyes he said blessed are your eyes for the see and your ears for the hear Jesus upon someone's eye the grace to see receive that grace now receive the gift of sight now hear me let me start with those called into the prophetic in the name of Jesus a heavy grace from heaven let it rest upon you now take that grace now anyone here under the sound of my voice call to operate in the prophetic office I activate that grace to see now And declare the grace that brings life to your dreams and your visions from this night may that grace rest upon you now restoration of dreams restoration of prophetic dreams restoration of visions in the name of Jesus Christ Number two, I want to pray for you. Your imagination, your creativity, after the order of Bezalel, after the order of Uzziah, in the name of Jesus, extraordinary ideas, extraordinary concepts, begin to see them now. Begin to see them now. The ideas connected to your wealth, Begin to see them now. What's that song? Another measure. Sing it for me. Shalega paradada. Another measure. Upon your life, upon your ministry, receive it in the name of Jesus. I impart that grace upon you in the name of Jesus. Cubit. In the name of Jesus, another 
Alabra de Gavereka Tosca Prake Paratusia Krate Begaretusiata in the name of Jesus. What you have never seen in scripture, I open your eyes to begin to see it. I open the eyes of your understanding. Unusual insights into scripture. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Ale shapas kafras kale ko parada kabarantas ka grata kabaraka tapakata fras kabarata barantes ebrata kabaraka tapakarakus kabranda barokas ke ale kras kabarada bakata fras kabaranta par. Hallelujah. Now hear me. There are many of you at this point in your Christian experience. You are in desperate need. Of the revelatory gifts of the spirit to be activated the word of knowledge the word of wisdom the gift of prophecy I decree and declare anyone here who is desperate for these gifts of the spirit and it has not rested upon you or it has rested upon you at a level that can no longer host the burden and the responsibilities upon you I stretch my hands receive a fresh impartation now a fresh impartation now. A fresh impartation now. Adonai. Adonai. Hear me. Every trouble you have entered because of spiritual blindness, every mistake you have made. Some of you are in financial troubles now because of the bankruptcy of sight. Some of you may be in marital crisis right now. Some of you may be in ministerial troubles right now. In the name of Jesus, I invoke the mercy of God. Come out of that situation now. Come out of that situation now. A miracle service is next week but please allow me to speak over your finances there is something your eyes needs to see I want to pray for you can I tell you this listen your wealth is not everywhere don't make a mistake of just copying and joining the bandwagon you will get into trouble until you deplete yourself just because it's working for others does not mean it will work for you you have to see what the Lord is saying concerning you I'm about to pray for you. Some of you will see it in dreams. Some of you will see it in visions. Some of you will have prophetic confirmations. But I stand by prophecy. Wherever your financial resources will come from, I gravitate you towards that area. I gravitate you towards that area. I gravitate you towards that area. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody here who is a leader or you are in ministry in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you the eyes to see beyond just a 2020 vision let it be imparted upon you I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart may nothing take you unawares again I say it again, may nothing take you unawares. That before it happens, by the power of sight, may you see it. So that if you have to stop it, you stop it from happening. 
and if you have to allow it then you allow it happen hear me by the gift of sight you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you let me repeat it again you will never enter any vehicle that will kill you let me give you a disclaimer many of you will go to sleep and you will wake up from this encounter with many visions listen never execute anything you see until you verify it with the word I need to give you this disclaimer no matter how accurate what you have seen is when you get up do not execute until you can support that vision with scripture and where possible seek godly counsel I'm saying this to you because there are many people an impartation like this is very risky because when your eyes are open you will see all kinds of things and Satan can appear as an angel of light are we together yeah the devil can appear as an angel of light and want to manipulate the sincerity of your passion to see and you may see things or God can give you correct visions and here comes Satan with wrong interpretations of it and you will carry a wrong interpretation and connect it to a correct vision and it will end up misleading you and misleading others no matter what I see I have to confirm it with scripture and where it is beyond my spiritual level to interpret I will consult with those who have gone ahead of me and open up my heart and say I've seen something like this sir what do you see what can you say about it and sometimes they will say don't worry give me a few days let me pray about it ah this is what you saw this is what you saw never be too big to be guided no matter how accurate you are we see in part I forgot to tell you that that even after you have received the grace to see you will see in part that means the Word of God that is wholesome and complete and entire must vet your visions must vet your dreams must vet your creativity must vet your prophetic experiences that way go and listen to my message the value of encounters there is the prophetic dimension of the word that immunes you and stops you from getting into error many people prayed their way to visions but because they did not honor scripture they started seeing things that misled them some of you have seen people like that they start acting as if they are having a mental condition it was prayer that took them there and they did not have respect for scripture they announced that you see them misbehaving they start talking to themselves they will not take their bath for days they will start looking as if they are mad people eventually they will get them on admission in the hospital I have to tell you as a responsible man of God that when you are open to the vistas of the spirit it is a very vast realm what gives you stability is your respect for scripture otherwise your eyes will see a lot of things the devil will manipulate you to sleep and see someone carrying the form of your mother lifting a knife and you will get up and say ah so my mother is the person behind this and Satan has succeeded in cheating you he took advantage of the opening of your eyes as an, an, an innocent woman who loved you and nurtured you you will begin to hate her this is the number one problem with the prophetic ministry their inability to save their experiences and vet it from the lens of scripture there are many people today who are called witches and wizards there are many sincere family members that have come at loggerheads because some apostle or some prophet said this one is this i believe that there is witchcraft but there are many people an innocent husband and a wife and suddenly they make the wife hate her husband i see that this guy wants to destroy you interpreting visions has a protocol there's no time for that now but you need to learn to see your visions there are many things you will see that are not necessary you dump them and focus on that which is consistent 
everything you see does not have to be interpreted when you are mining gold you will fetch sand a lot of other things will come push them away you are looking for gold hallelujah I'm saying this so that you don't create another kind of error and for someone who is watching I have to bring this balance as we wrap up everything you see no matter how sure you think you see or saw make sure that you open up in scripture and if it is a revelation that would demand you taking destiny steps seek godly counsel by the privilege of God's grace we are here to help don't stand up and suddenly say you know what I had a vision and in that vision the Lord said I should leave my job as a breadwinner of ten the one who takes care of ten people before you take that step seek godly counsel there are people that God has washed their eyes with eyes out they can see and say this is not what it means be careful do not take a wrong step and destroy your spouse and destroy your husband and destroy your children and destroy your parents I'm saying this as we close because there have been people I can tell you through the years I've been involved with people who because of the, the depth of their prayer life meditation word study their eyes became open some of those people will get up in the night and start trekking no shoes to the river and tell them a spirit someone appeared I know one gentleman he's now late long dead the guy used to go through story by 4 a 4 p.m. he would enter one building they used to use as an auditorium he would sit down there because he said there was an angel some feminine angel that used to come to him that they would sing together she takes him out in the spirit and takes him to various places around Nigeria this guy started isolating himself from people he started behaving like somebody who was having a medical condition I mean what I'm saying he got into depression because it was like nobody else was his friend he claimed they used to sing together with that being I remember interviewing the guy and I said describe for me the being once he started doing I said you are you are meeting with a familiar spirit oh but she tells me good things behave yourself respect parents I said you don't know Satan that gentleman today has passed on to glory years ago it is true so I'm saying this so that believers don't blindly go and start writing everything and executing them verbatim what was written was written so that it will not be changed your visions can be altered I taught you here that it is written is greater than I saw it is written is greater than I heard if you can respect the Word of God then your seeing becomes profitable it is not everything I've seen that is from God it is not everything I've seen as a man of God that is worth executing when I pass them through the lens of God's Word I find some of them wanting and I just hang them there until I grow higher to vet them again or until I dump them because I do not believe in them you must have the maturity to respect the Word of God and no matter how accurate your insights are let them pass through the sieve of the word and then you have created a safety net for your excelling thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah I pray for you in Jesus name you will take advantage of this scene I and in Jesus name you will make progress in destiny you will make progress in life I prophesy upon you that this week beginning let it be a week of favor let it be a week of breakthrough let doors be opened return on Sunday with testimonies it will be clear from your life that God helps men it will be clear from your life that God lifts men it will be clear from your life that it pays to serve Jesus the Lord bless you and honor you we believe you were blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you